Welcome to Frequently Asked Questions about Premiere Pro and today we're going to learn about how to use the transform effect. The transform effect can literally be used to transform your video in size or position, but it can do so much more. The effect can be found in the effects library and you can simply drag them on your clips. Once it's applied, you can find the effect back in the effect controls. Now, these properties will allow you to adjust the position and anchor point of your video, but also the scale and even the rotation can be adjusted. The scoop property will allow you to, of course, skew your video. This can be used for fun effects, for example, a drunken cam. I'll show you how to make that one in a second. Now, all of these properties can be animated. This means you can make an object or video move over time. To do that, move the playhead to the start position, then set a position keyframe. Now, grab the playhead and move further in time. Adjust the position to where you want the object to go. And look at that, it's that simple. Now, you can also make this animation start and end smooth. To do that, right click the first keyframe and choose ease out. This will start the animation slowly and speed up. Then right click the last keyframe and choose ease in. This will slowly ease the animation to a standstill. That is just beautiful. Now the amazing thing about the transform effect is motion blur. This will make it look more natural. To do that, simply increase the shutter angle. The more you increase it, the more motion blur will be visible. However, 180 degrees will look the most natural. Now, before I tell you how to make this drunken cam, I'm gonna show you something that you'll love even more. And that is the Premiere Pro video editing course for complete beginners. We will start with the complete basics of video editing and then build our way up to become a professional video editor. All of that in less than four hours. Editing techniques, custom animation, graphics and text layers, applying effects, and so much more. By the end of this course, Course, you will be 100% comfortable with video editing in Premiere Pro. So click the link down below to level up your skills as a video editor. Now let me show you how to create that drunken cam. To do that we're going back to the skew effect. You can increase it but the higher it is the more drunk it will look. Now move the playhead to the first frame then set a skew axis keyframe. Now grab the playhead again and move further in time. Then increase the axis. The higher this number the faster the drunk movement will be. Now to get rid of these black sides simply increase the scale until they're gone. There you go, that looks really cool. Now again, if you want to level up as a video editor, click the link down here to check out the beginner's course. Thank you guys so much for watching. Stay creative.